Hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got Glam Polish. It's a curious thing. I've started off with IMK Peel Ease, and here is Glam Polish. It's a curious thing. Oh, my, the hollow. I'm going to go in with my first coat here over my dried base coat. I don't ever show that part, me doing base coat, because, you know, some people do it, some people don't. I always, always use base coat of some sort. I'm going to cap my free edge here. And this was one of those manicures I kind of pictured in my head, and I thought, I've just got to do that. So we popped this one out today and did it. That second coat is so pretty. It just builds it up so gorgeous. And I could have done three coats, but I wasn't really too worried about it since I was going to do something else. Capping that free edge again. There we go. I am going to top this one with the Moonshine Mani. Let's go top coat. We're going to seal this in and get it to dry down so we can do some playing. I got lots of playing planned for today. It's going to be just one of those manicures. Oh, how gorgeous. Hi, Woody. How you doing? Coming here to clean up my mess. And I'll be using this stamping plate by Bunny Nails. It's B-U-N-A-F. No, H. F. I'm losing my mind. I've got to get the blue film off of it and clean it real quick. Running it across with some acetone and then wiping it with a paper towel. I'll be using my monocle stamper and my beauty scraper and Brave Diva game over today. So in a couple of nails, I'm going to do this image. I'm going to do this on my thumb and my ring finger. I'm going to have to swipe it the other way. I'm seeing some bald spots. So we're going to just stamp that right across the nail. Clean that off on a lint roller. That stamper needs to be clean. <clears throat> Cleaning that plate off with pure acetone. I decided to turn the plate to make it easier for me to, you know, do my swiping with the scraper card. Here we go. Just going to get ready to do this on another nail. There we go. I almost put it on the wrong hand. Look at me. Losing my mind, y'all. There we go. I'm going to tap it down. And then I decided to use this other image on the rest of the nails. It's a little similar, but a little different. Sweet. And pick up. And I did end up with an extra line in there, but uh, it's just whatever. Since it's all lines anyway, I didn't even bother redoing it. I'm going to do this again. And I am getting low on my game over. I do have a backup bottle. Um, it's waiting in the shadows for its turn. We're getting there. And then one more time. I'm going to do this image on the pinky nail. There we go. Got it all full. Here we go. Give it a couple of scrapes that time. Here we go. All right, I'm going to go in with a piece of tape and get up some of the excess off of my skin. I'm out of frame for the most part, but I'm still going through the motions and getting most of this up using the tape method. <clears throat> and then I'm going to go in with my cleanup brush and some acetone. You could use regular nail polish remover. You don't have to use acetone. Or you could wait until the very end and do all your cleanup at once. Either way works. <laughs> I like to do mine as I go along. So I'll be using primarily yellow as well as turquoise aesthetic and atomic chromatic orange. I'm sorry. And these are all from OPI's Color Paints collection. Um, they're like really, really old, but I love playing with them. Now this technique that I'm doing today where you color in over the stamping and it works because the black stamping doesn't go through the jelly. You can still see those lines up underneath the jelly. Now this is called lead lighting or lead lighting. It just depends on how you want to, you know, say it. I've seen it and, you know, 
described the same way and um, called two different things. So I'm just sharing with you what I have learned off the internet. <laughs> and I really do love doing this because um, you're not having to fill in exactly. I'm, I'm just kind of willy-nilly in this one. I'm not trying to stay between really skinny little lines. I'm just doing what I want. Just coloring them in like an adult coloring book here. And I do really enjoy this look. It's kind of like stained glass or something. Really, really like it. Now, I'm not sure if you can still find these color paints on the internet anywhere, maybe eBay or somewhere like that, or a D stash. But, you know, you can make your own jelly polishes, or you could use any kind of jelly polishes you have in your collection. <clears throat> But it all works, you know. So as you can see, I'm just going across and kind of making swoops. I'm leaving some of it open because I still want to see some of that gorgeous underneath polish. But by using a sparkly silver, um, some of that still pops through the, the jelly polishes that are on top. And the look is just fantastic. And I am using my Robin Moses, the wand today. It's starting to get more com I'm starting to get more comfortable with it. I'm not saying you're going to see a whole lot of freehand out of me, but you know, it's it's you know, it, I'm coming along. I'm, I'm making some progress. So I'm going to go in. I've got the tiniest bit of cleanup to do here. There we go. I think we're done there. I'm going to use the Maniology Smudge Free Top Coat to cover this one over without smearing it. And once that's totally dry, I'm going in with my Posh Top Coat and sealing everything in. Very nice, glossy, thick top coat to protect everything. There we go. Oh, I love this. So, I really enjoyed this manicure. I hope you did, too. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this one. As always, I love hearing from you and hearing what you think. And here is my swatch photo. So, that is it for me today. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.